from spring Is that a change? Could surely bring a break from the southern winter sky Listen and the way we fly Well, won't you look at that? I'm all packed. I got a new suitcase, and it's smaller than my other one, so I have to be real picky what I take. I like it. A bag full of new discs, and guess what? Tomorrow, I leave Boulder, Colorado, and I'm flying to Portland, Oregon for the Beaver State Flying. I'll be in Eugene for two days, and then we got an Airbnb kind of near Milo. Going to be practicing Milo a whole bunch. Going to be kicking with Jeff Corns the entire time. Also be getting a good, good dose of Eric, Ho Ho Eric Oakley, hopefully. <laughs> Just left Grandma's house, and it's always it's always great to see how much he cries when I leave. It's, oh, it's good to know that I'm loved. Out here, Pier Park, Portland, Oregon. Absolutely loving life, best weather ever. Got Jeff Horns here, showing me around and uh, being my, what would you call yourself this week? Tour support organizer. Tour support organizer this week, exactly. Good times ahead and so far Pier Park, it's Oregon, man, it's great. What do we got here? We got some new PD3s. PD3s, guys. Here they come. This is the first run of them. A lot of them feel different for some reason. Like, there's like super dip. Look at this. PD3. This one is kind of like, I don't know, this one's a little bit sharper rim, but um, for some reason, this one, um, this PD3 kind of feels more like a putter. It's weird. It's, it's, kind, of it's kind of a, a it's a really inconsistent mold, but I hear that they're really good discs, though. Wow, this one's sweet. This one, this one kind of feels like a, this one kind of feels like a metal flake max. Oh, wow. I think this, this PD3 is going in the bag. I, I like that one. We got another mid-range one. A mid-range PD3? Another one, yeah. Nice. Oh, look at the transition. Ah! I mean... <laughs> This is a vlog, I'm not, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I messed up a putt. Anyway, <laughs> I've been practicing putt for like an hour and a half, at least an hour and a half, which is a long time. And I, my goal is to hit 50 putts in a row from 20 feet. It's kind of hard, it's kind of easy sometimes. I was not able to do it, so I was like, dude, you need to drop to 15 feet. I made 84. I was like, okay, that's that's good. I was trying to get 100, but whatever. And then I stepped back 20, get to 49, and miss the 50th one. And I don't know what to do now. I'm tired of putting, and I'm getting a blister on my foot from digging my foot into the ground. Maybe I'll go back out. I'm Eagle Man. I'm coming to you from a random field in Eugene, Oregon. Right now I'm testing out the new Metal Flake PD3. Uh, the blue one, for some reason, this one that I'm feeling, uh, it's kind of a weird mold in the fact that it comes out really inconsistent. This one kind of feels more like a mid-range, and if you look at the rim, it's a, um, 
it's feeling pretty close to a gator. Let's see how it flies. Wow, pretty beefy and overstable. Reminds me just like the gator in my bag. This with this PD3, it's um the green color. This one came out feeling a lot different. If you look, it's more of a beveled edge, much much more like a driver. Actually, now that I feel it, it feels uh, um, a lot like the Metal Flake Max in my bag. I think um, it'll be pretty similar. Let's give it, a, give it a try. Wow, almost spot on. I think that'll be uh, replacing the Max. Pull 10. Stairway to a left. Played Dexter Dobbs in Eugene, Oregon. Or no, Dexter? We're in Dexter. It's close enough to Eugene. Um, it got local legend Buck Smith. Probably you disc collectors kind of know who he is. It's a name you see pop up. I uh, just got back surgery, so he's kind of a little shaky. He, he even knew we didn't really take any of his shots, and he's used to like absolutely shredding this course. Shot eight down, four way tie. Jeff found himself in there. We end up doing a sudden death up shot for a playoff, which is terrible. You should always go in a sudden death playoff. Got nowhere to be. And uh, Buck, last person to throw, and he parked it and he won us the money. So that was pretty cool. Wait. Wait. Walk sign is on across Agon. Walk sign is on across Agon. Walk Did that sound like Steve Dodge or what? Come on, that's ridiculous. Steve Dodge is the official announcer for crosswalks in Eugene, Oregon. Unboxing, mystery box. Let's see what's inside. MD4, MD4. Please MD4. Oh, it's split up like two. Okay, all right. right. S line CD3. What? Okay. Oh, check out the S line TD with the mini stamp. That's pretty tight. Oh, STD. 166. Ooh, Riley would like that a lot. Nice FD, big shield stamp. Whoa, that's old. Yeah, that's Damn. an old run. I have one of those, Eric. Nice. nice MD3. It's kind of a cool color. This is so grippy. It's like, oh, interesting. That's DDX. That's a badass stamp. That's pretty cool. What, wait, what? Riverside? Okay. Used P2? No. Maybe c -Line MD3 with your stamp. Whoa, that's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, pink S line CD3. That's these feel more. Wow, that feels more stable. That feels so good. Ooh, even my wallet goes. S line PD. One fifty nine PD two. That's Jeff's new favorite disc. That's interesting. Let me first try that C line MD with the hot timber. You're in P1X. S on PD. CD3, C on CD3. Okay. We got a metal fake MD3. And? Oh, no Jolly Rancher? What's a peppermint? I don't want a Jolly Rancher. Later, Eugene. We'll see you next year. It was fun. 
and I'll miss all you hay and straw bales. I love you. I really do. It's, it's always good to see you. <laughs> Peace. When we're saying goodbye to the hay bales and the straw bales, I think it's time that I say goodbye to you. This was the Eugene travel Portland whatever vlog. Now we're heading up to Milo and the next vlog you will see will be on Spin TV for the Beaver State flag. So until next time, keep on dreaming. Keep on dreaming.